Welcome to the wonderful world of Bright Star. Bright Star is a place to have some fun and learn valuable life lessons at the same time. I hope you enjoy your visit. A trip to the courthouse. The Bright Star Kids learn about courts. Written by Vincent W. Goet and Carolyn Larson. Narrated by Carolyn Larson. Good morning, class. Is everyone looking forward to visiting the Bright Star Courthouse today? Miss Betty asked. All the students were very excited to tour the courthouse. Mr. Emerson greeted the students as they climbed on the bus for the ride to the courthouse. When the bus arrived at the courthouse, Judge Blue, Lawyer Blue, and Officer Dan were waiting for them. The students noticed a man in handcuffs being walked into the jail by another police officer. Oh boy, that guy is in trouble, said Alexander. Some of the students looked around nervously. Are we going inside the jail, Officer Dan? asked Miles. We'll do that later, Miles. We're saving the best for last, said Officer Dan. First, let's go inside the courthouse, said Lawyer Blue. Karen stopped as she got to the door. Um, that's a scary looking machine, she said. Nothing to fear. There's a machine like that at the Bright Star Airport, said Hudson. This machine is for security. It makes sure no one brings anything inside the courthouse that could hurt people, explained Officer Dan. The class walked through the security machine one by one. Then they saw a big board with lots of numbers on it. That looks like the wall at the airport that shows flight times and gates, said Alexander. It does kind of look like that, said Judge Blue. But this one shows the number of the courtroom where each case will be heard. The students looked around as they walked down the hall. They saw a big wall filled with pictures. All of these people are wearing a robe like Judge Blue wears, said Missy. Yes, these people are judges in Bright Star, said Judge Blue. Each one took the same oath of conduct I took. I bet the one on the top is the boss, said Miles. He is a Supreme Court judge for Bright Star, which means he kind of is the boss, said Judge Blue. My picture will be up there one day, said Sam. Judge Blue led the students into her courtroom, courtroom nine. Why don't you all have a seat over there, she said. She pointed to a couple of rows of chairs. This is where the jury sits, said Lawyer Blue, as the students settled in. That's awesome, Miles said, looking at the judge's bench at the front of the room. Yes, and look at those flags. One of them is our American flag. How cool is that, said Alexander. Now class, we are going to do something fun, said Judge Blue. Pay attention. This will also be part of a class project I'll announce at the end of our tour today, said Miss Betty. Let's begin with the uh, judge, said Judge Blue to Miss Betty. The kids wondered what Judge Blue was up to. They were excited to see what was next. Here's the plan, Judge Blue said. We are going to replace all the people who work in my courtroom with you students. Now remember what you learned when we came to your class? Judges are elected. So let's begin by electing a judge, she said. Well, that's easy. The smartest person should be judge, said Jimmy. Everyone shouted, Hudson! No, Sam wants to be on the big court someday, so she should get the practice. I'd like to be a lawyer, said Hudson. Looks like we have Judge Sam and Lawyer Hudson, said Judge Blue. Let's fill our last lawyer spot, said Lawyer Blue. Brett wants to follow in his mom and dad's footsteps and be a lawyer that works helping those that can't afford lawyers, said Sam. That's called working pro bono. That's Latin for volunteering or working for free, said Lawyer Blue. 
That's very nice, Brett. You will be the defendant's lawyer and Hudson will be the plaintiff's lawyer, said Lawyer Blue. He directed Brett and Hudson to their desks. We're almost finished, said Lawyer Blue. We need a court reporter. Would you like that job, Liz? There's one more important role to fill. The court marshal, said Officer Dan. The court marshal's job is to make sure everybody behaves properly. That leaves Miles out, said Alexander. There was lots of giggling about that. Landon, when you visited the police station, you said you wanted to be a police officer. So you be our marshal, said Officer Dan. All the rest of you will serve as the jury, said Lawyer Blue. We now have a fully staffed courtroom and jury. We are ready for our first trial, said Judge Blue. Today we're going to have a bank robbery trial. I know the perfect characters for these roles, said Officer Dan. Alexander and Miles, you'll be our bank robbers. Everyone laughed when Jimmy shouted, put them in the clink. Remember, a person is innocent until proven guilty, said Judge Blue. Take over, Judge Sam. Let's hear your opening statements, Judge Sam said to the lawyers. Judge Blue, Lawyer Blue, and Officer Dan helped the lawyers with their presentations. The class had fun and, of course, they found Alexander and Miles guilty. The Bright Star class had one last stop before going back to school. Alexander and Miles, let's see what happens when real bank robbers get caught and Judge Blue finds them guilty, said Officer Dan. He led the students on a tour of Bright Star Jail. The whole class went inside a cell. Boy, this is even smaller than the room I share with Chucky at home, said Alexander. This is not the place you want to find yourself, said Officer Dan. No way. I'm walking a straight and narrow path from now on, said Miles. The Bright Star Kids said goodbye to Judge Blue, Lawyer Blue, and Officer Dan and got on Mr. Emerson's bus. Have fun with your next class project, said Judge Blue. Everyone wondered what Judge Blue was talking about. Back at school, Miss Betty explained. We have our court team now, so here's the next project. Once a month, we will have Bright Star Kids Court, where all disputes will be handled. Judge Blue and Lawyer Blue will stop by to see how you're honoring the jobs you've been given. Will we have a real jail? asked Alexander. There will be no clink for us, but I'll come up with something as punishment, said Miss Betty. Thanks for visiting Bright Star. Come back soon and often. We'll be waiting for you.